first thing we want to talk about is, you know, we said this is a movement, and to keep things going, um, we're excited to announce that, has this not been a great conference? kind of packed in. So uh, Kyle's going to talk about our fall conference, uh, Experitus. It's limited. It's only 300 people. So would you uh, welcome Kyle and all. Again, thank you, Father, for, what a, for an outstanding message. A message that we all need. All three speakers were incredible. It's, a, it's an honor that I am here, and I do want to talk to you, my, my brothers here, Christ, because this is important, and, you know, around the year 1203, while in his 20s, St. Francis of Assisi, a layperson, heard the voice of Christ who told him to repair his church. This was after a life of wealth, indulgence, partying, and warring. Because Francis was willing to follow the vision Christ gave him, he, along with the help of the devoted, ultimately restored the church and changed the world in a short period of time. Question for you. Do you feel our world and culture needs to change now? Just as it was necessary during the time of St. Francis, that our church now needs to be restored. My brothers, I think we would all agree in order to make great change, we as men must be willing to get off the sidelines and get into the cultural battle. We must be willing to live our life by promoting the moral values expounded by our Lord Jesus Christ. It is our vision as Catholic Brothers for Christ to unify and answer that call and help men become the leaders of their household and ultimately the leaders of the Christian community. We aspire to create a movement of men who are willing to act today to save our families and households from the, from the current cultural culture of secularism and relativism. We are doing this by having conferences and events that will put men in front of renowned speakers and bonded with other like-minded men who can help each other battle against Satan's onslaught against our families and community. Our movement is to establish educational materials, events, and retreats to help those men who feel the same way as we do so that we can stand firm in our belief and make a cultural change. My brothers, if you are being called, as we have been, to help facilitate this change, then you have two opportunities that I want you to prayerfully consider. Number one is to consider coming to Expiritus, our fall event on October 19th with Father Wade Menenses, or Menesis. This will help you stay connected with like-minded men and keep you on a firm spiritual path. More importantly, consider being an evangelizer to other men and sponsor a table. For 10 and bring nine other men with you. I want, you. I want to encourage you to register today because this event is intentionally developed to only have 300 motivated men. We will break bread, with breakfast, have praise and worship, adoration, prayer teams, and reconciliation. And the, the event is from 8 to noon. Here's your second opportunity. Father Wade was here three years ago, for those who were here, and he was incredible. And he was so impressed with the conference, he told our leadership team that he wanted to come out and do a retreat with us. 
He wants so much for our men's movement to catch fire and grow. So after our experience event, we will be having a leadership retreat for all of you men that want to join us and either on our planning team or more importantly as an ambassador to your parish. This is an opportunity to learn from an incredible man and teacher of our faith in a small, intimate gathering. We will learn about being more effective in our mission to help men become spiritual leaders that our world so much needs. Will you prayerfully ask God if he is asking you to join us in this capacity? Are you looking to make a difference for men in your parish? My brothers, if you want more information on our ministry, we will be in the narthex right after the meeting, right out there. Myself, my brother Larry West, and Jeremy Stevens. And we're ready to serve you. I encourage you again to register for our Experitus event. And reserve your seat for Father Wade. Like St. Francis did 900 years ago, we as lay people need to answer God's call to help restore our church. Thank you.